Hi everyone, it's Santiago from the School of Day Bolivar Rally. Here to give my wrap up of the 2019 Summer Summer Trail. This race was held in Atlanta, Michigan. It's like a mini version of the winter race. One day only. No notes. Or no pace notes. They give us tulips. And they actually check that you haven't copied over stage notes or try to write your own. So it's definitely a challenge. Very challenging for the driver. Kind of challenging for the co-driver because they have to just sit there and watch and hope you don't hit anything. Oh. So it was about 40 miles racing. They only had two pieces of road that we ran twice forward in the afternoon and twice backwards in the evening. So eight stages total with one service in the middle. Uh, afternoon stages started out great. Uh, built up speed pretty quickly. Took a good lead in our class and actually won. Stages three and four outright for two wheel drive. Only a couple moments. Stage one, we slightly slid kind of close to it. I'm going to take the cover on that a little bit. Right there, right? Stage two and four started in this wooded section. Stage three was a little sketch, just because there were some sections where the trees would trap the dust. And unfortunately, I friends at Baines Racing went off, off. and uh, went way off into the grass. They were okay, and the car looks fixable, thankfully. But definitely scary, because that was a fifth gear section. Very fast. Uh, one service. The skies opened up just for that. Everyone got poured on. I went and me and my co-driver went and hit in the high school that props to all the service crews and our guys, Eric and Mike, who stayed out there in the rain and made sure the car was perfect for us. Uh, rain pretty much stopped by the time we were ready to leave, which seems to happen a lot. <laughs> uh, so we go get refuel and then we go run the, the same two stages backwards. The rain definitely cured the dust issue, but well, you're gonna now have a hard left caution a lot of mud, downhill. especially in the tree cover sections. It's definitely tricky to predict what the grip would be when I was going into some of these turns. And I also backed off a bit because I didn't have a decent lead. I was really racing against the open two-wheel drive guys, only for fun. So try to sign a few perspective as well. Everything was going pretty well until at the very end. And stage 8, about a third of the way through, we hear this loud bang. And, and then 6, we're going to have a medium right. Different than the other couple of other things we had in the race. So, I see I still have oil pressure, so I just keep driving on it. And it doesn't really change too much. I do pull back a little bit on some of the rougher sections. Alright, you're going to have a hard course. left. It's kind of a I only ended up losing second compared to six, six rounds, that was pretty good. Um, get to the end, the control workers tell us that our skid plate's hanging off, which is, I guess that's kind of all it could be. I was hoping it was a piece of plastic, but it was the, it was our aluminum skid plate, which is why it's sitting in the trunk right now. So we, we transit through, get back to the main road with it banging away, which is a horrible noise. Once we're back on the main road, I get up, I get under it, and realize there's one bolt left in it, and it's at the back. So it must have came off, just vibrated loose from all the hits. Probably got run over by the left tire and swung around 90 degrees, so it was sitting back there and just banging against the underside. Like, it definitely feels like it's on the feet. I managed to kind of shoot in a position where it was sort of held in place. We were able to transit back to the finish um, to even reverse into our parking spot at Park Ferme. I had to get back under there and, re and move it back to where it was. But at the end of the day, we made it to the finish and we won our class by four minutes, which is just an awesome feeling. Third, third of all two wheel drive. I'm not too far behind the really fast guys in the Escort and the Diesel uh, Golf. So all in all, I had a ton of fun. It's just a great race. I'm definitely looking forward to the next one, which will be STPR in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. See you there.
And of course, big thanks to my sponsors, Racing Tech and Team Illuminata Motorsports.